Howdy Archer fans, Dennis here. I'm doing a video today. Uh, let's say blazer veins, two inch veins versus tack driver 2.75. And we're especially focusing on uh, which one loses speed downrange more. There's been several videos put out by respectable archers claiming that the TAC driver 2.75s have a significant difference in the amount of downrange speed that is lost and claim that they've had to tighten up their pin pins in a multi-pin sight or go to a smaller tape in a single pin sight and so I bought them and decided to give it a try well first of all I, I had these these are victory arrows they're they've got sportsman's uh, the guide gear trophy hunter logo on them but they're basically vi uh, victory v forts uh, 400s uh, I do have 50 grain weight in the, in here um, so they were coming out around uh, four, a little over 420 grains um, after uh, scraping off the original blazers, putting wraps and refletching with pack drivers. They're coming out around uh, 427, 428, roughly around there. Uh, my first experience when I came out to the range and shot them without doing any additional tuning or anything was at 50 they were right on at 20 but at 50 i was hitting about almost eight inches low so i was not happy <laughs> so i decided uh went home got my paper tuning rig paper tuned found that with the tack drivers i was getting a high right tear had to move the rest a fair amount to get it to shoot it a bullet hole in the center. Once I did that, I rechecked the blazers. Um, the blazers were only now, with, with the tack drivers shooting perfect, the blazers were just, had a slight left tear, so that, so the air was just slightly to the right of center. You know, less than a quarter inch. It was amazing. So apparently these are much more sensitive to uh, paper tuning than, than the blazers. Anyways, so then I decided to shoot again. Um, I had to move my sight a little because after paper tuning and moving the rest, of course, it changed my impact. So once I got 20 back, back on, uh, and both arrows were hitting the same, at 20 I could shoot X's with both of these shot at 50 and now at 50 I'm still hitting low but only two or three inches low but both arrows are impacting about the same so um, I decided to rather than rather than move my pins because I like shoot, shooting 70 meters and I already had my 70 meter pin at the bottom of my Sight, so I decided to crank my limb bolt in. I had it out about a turn, so I cranked it in a half a turn. That put me right on at 50. Either arrow, they're both shooting the same. They're shooting groups, almost identical. No, no noticeable difference. So I decided to get my chronograph and set it up, shoot from 20 yards, shoot out of the bow, shoot from 20, and shoot from 30. Let's see if there is any difference in downrange speed uh, lost or gain, or you know, who's losing more, or is there any difference? So, let me just say right now, no, negligible difference started out um, the blazer arrows came out of the at the bow at two 
64. The tack drivers came out of the right at the bow at 266, so two feet per second. You know, you get that kind of variance if you shoot a few arrows, so can't really call that much of a difference. So at 20 yards, I had um, tack driver was shooting 257. The um, blazer was shooting 255 at 20. At 30 yards, the tack driver had dropped to 254, which is not bad. It's only, you know, what's that? Eight feet uh, from 266 uh, to 264. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, 266 to 264. Yeah, about eight, eight feet per second. It had, it had lost. Um, but the, no, that's 12 feet, actually, right? 266, I'm sorry. So 266 to 254, yeah, so it lost 12. The um, blazers went from originally at out of the bow 264 down to 254 so they lost 10 feet per second but you know they both are at 30 we're shooting at 254 so i'm going to call that a wash if there was a trend at all it would be in favor of the blazers L losing less because they only lost 10 while well, these lost 12 but I'm I'm gonna say that's a wash because you get that kind of variance you know from arrow to arrow anyways so anyways I'm here to say that I do not believe the claims of uh, maintaining more downrange speed it's just not true not from my not from my experience not from my testing and there's a lot of people out there saying it is so i challenge all you guys to put your money where your mouth is and do a test make a video put it on youtube you know don't just follow the follow the leader and get on the bandwagon with everybody else and say oh tech driver veins maintain you know more speed down range find out if it's true because it's not thank you okay these are the four arrows used for testing uh trophy hunter uh guide gear trophy hunter 400 v basically victory v4 same thing 8.2 grains per inch these have an additional 50 grain weight in the insert so i've got two fletched with four inch wraps and blazers and two fletched with four inch wraps and tack driver 275s so let's look at the weight on these blazers first Laser. This one is four twenty eight point eight. This one, this other blazer is four twenty six point six. A couple grains difference there. Okay, this one, tack driver, four twenty seven two. This other tack driver. Four twenty six eight. So these arrows are all within a couple grains of each other. 